Lazy Sunday suck. But honestly, this break, I felt like I had a couple Sundays in here. Just been so lazy. But what I'm going to do today is talk about L.A. Noir because I love it. And it's amazing. And it's the best $20 I've ever spent. And I probably would have paid more for it, but I didn't suck us. Um, the thing about this game is if you're a person who does not like to watch and you just like to action do, kill things, whew, uh, not the game for you. Don't even waste your time. Me, I love dialogue games. I love games where you the story is the important part. And as the story progresses, you get more into it. Well, that's how this game works. But the good thing about this game is it's also promotable. Like, for one, you have levels that you get on with from experience, as in, like, if you get a, uh, you interview people because you're a cop, and you, like, get five points for, uh, like, experience points, and eventually your little level goes up. It's not really that important, but I want to get to level 20 because that's max level, and that's how I do. <coughs> Excuse me. And then there's, like, the actual, like, rankings, like, you could be on homicide. You start off, actually, it's just a straight up, like, police officer. And then you become a detective who does traffic. And then homicide. And that's where I am right now. I mean, I thought I was pretty far in the game, but I'm not. Uh, there's three discs. That's ridiculous. But it's because of the facial recognition, and it takes so much. Um, there's a word here that I should add. It takes so much graphics. That's not right. Brian or Kyle would know. Tice, I would too. But what do you want, dog? Get on her. Whatever. She'll come in. Um, but yeah, like it just takes so much because of how in detail it is that I can't believe I can't think of it. I'm sorry. Um, that it takes three, no, three discs, and I'm just now on the second disc. But I'm still on Homicide, and the next one after that is Vice Traffic. Homicide Vice, and the last one is Arson, I believe, which I'm excited for. And, like, the thing about your, um, it's based in the 1940s, and everyone wears epic hats, and I love it. And you can get shot, and you'll lose your hat, and then you're like, where's my hat, bro? Where's my, I need my hat! And, oh, it's so awesome. And then you're like, you're like Indiana Jones, you always end up with that hat back, no matter what. Oh, all I need is a bull whip. But anyways, it's based in the 1940s. And the main guy, Cole Phelps, is, like, your, like, dictionary definition of a good cop. He does, like, he doesn't care if it makes him look bad. He wants justice. And everyone else is pretty much like, Cole, you're a dumbass. Stop it. Stop it. Do, uh, take a bribe or something. I don't know. But there's a lot of crazy stuff. Um... I'm going to say the name wrong, but I don't know if you guys, uh, does it say it? No, it does not. Um, I don't know if you guys heard of the movie, like, The Black Dahlia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Where, like, the lipstick, killing, slashy, slashy. Well, a lot, all the cases in this game are based off actual cases. So, and that's one of them that you do. And it's just so, uh, lot, I'm at the point where I don't know if the people I convict are right or not. So I feel kind of horrible, but whatever. And this game has so many different ways it can go. I also think that's why there's so many discs, but I don't know. Um, like, for every every time you interrogate a person or just interview them, you have, like, three things. You have uh, tell them the truth, you have doubt, and you have lie. And so, so far, doubt is normally the best one you can pick. Because I've got them all right <laughs> when I use doubt. But, like, because you actually have to pay attention to the person. And, like, see if they're going to be like, yeah, um, I was home all night. Because then you're just like, you're a fucking liar, sir. Or madam, because I'm not sexist. But, I don't know, this, <laughs> the facial recognition is so ridiculous, it makes me want to just, oh, I, oh, don't, oh. It's awesome. And... Like, I said like a lot now, and I apologize, because I don't want to be one of those people. But, I'm trying to think of where I'm going now. It doesn't really give you a lot of, like, 
your main character. It doesn't give you a lot of personal story. Because I found out just because of your partner talking to you that you have a wife and kids. I don't know their names. No idea. I didn't even know he was married. I know he's in the war, though. And he killed bitches. A lot of them. I think 40 J Japanese? Japan Japaniels? Yeah, Japanese folk. And oh, my lordy lord. I know I have lost so much. I wouldn't. I don't want to be a reviewer of anything, so not stand tell. No, but this. Oh, also you have to look for clues, and right now I kind of cheat a little because I have the clue hint on. So that I, like, say I'm looking for a yellow hat. Boom! I'll be walking all of a sudden. Controller. <laughs> hit A. Well, shit! Found it, guys. Um. But yeah, so like my controller vibrates and I know where it is. So that's very convenient. And then you have to find all these clues and then you go interview a suspect. And then what I like about it is you can say something and they lie. And when you know they're lying and then you use that evidence, you just want to dance. It's like, I caught you, bitch. Don't you lie to me. My name's Cole and I have a gun. That's how you're going to feel. God, I love this game so much. And But the sad thing is don't get attached to any of your partners except for, I think... His name's Rusty. It's a homicide one. He is probably in it the most so far. Because you guys, like, advances so fast. Because he's like, I'm going to work hard. And everyone's almost like, slow down. I have to finish my donut. Because I like to stereotype cops. Um, but yeah, so he, like, has advances a lot. And I really like the one I had before. The one on traffic. But, yeah, I lost him. So. I'm really waiting for, like, one of my uh, partners to die, because that just, that just makes it, you know? Because then I have to be like, no! Because ah! that's a cop movie. Uh, I guess at a film festival, they uh, took out all the, like, controller playing parts, and they just um, played it as an hour-length film or so. I would like to think it was longer than that, because there's a lot of cutscenes in this game, but whatever. I forgot what I was talking about. Not really, I just feel like I need to cut this video short. Because it is at, I think, 7 minutes. Wow, I'm sorry. If you watch this, bless you <laughs> so much. Oh my lord. Uh, so, Eleanor is an amazing game. I'm going to wrap this up real quick. It's very in-depth. In There's so many ways you can go with it. You'll love it. If you are into games that are more than just the action, because there is action, you get to shoot people, it's awesome. But... If you like that stuff, get this game. Especially if you find it cheap. But if you can't, eh, I still would. It's amazing, and I'm going to go play it now. So I love you guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Good night.